Namaste. Today's video is on how to practice Sarvangasana on your own at home. Generally, for beginners, since Sarvangasana is an inversion, it is difficult to learn or practice this asana on their own without the help of somebody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how one can learn Sarvangasana or inversion on their own. So let me start. First, we have to keep the mat very close to a wall. So you can see the mat is touching the wall here. Now, let me lie down. When we lie down, we have to come very close to the wall. Sit touching the wall first. Then, take the legs on the wall when we lie down. So you can see here that my back is touching the wall and the legs are on the wall. So this position itself is half the job done. If you see, the legs are already inverted. So you can say this is almost half Sarvangasana. It is actually called Viparita Karani. Viparita means inverted, Karani means doing. Now from here, I have to go to the next step. So when I took the leg up and lied down, I took an inhalation because the leg went up. Now I exhale and bend both the legs and keep it a little away from each other. So I exhaled and brought my leg a little down. From here, applying pressure on the wall, I have to lift my hips up. So I am pushing the wall with both the legs and then trying to lift the hips up. At the same time, I bring my hand behind myself. So you can see I arranged my elbow behind the body and supported the back. So this was done with an inhalation. Then I exhale here once and then slowly I try to take one leg up. This is easy because the back has been supported with both the hands. So that was done with an inhalation. Again I exhale here and then slowly keeping the weight on my hands and elbow try to take the other leg also up. Now if you see here, the weight is on my hand and elbow. So it's very safe to stay here because the weight is not shifted towards the shoulder. Now this is almost 90% of Sarvangasana. For a few weeks, stay in this position. Once you are good in staying with the hand support, slowly take the leg towards the head side. Now you can see the weight is shifting towards my shoulder. When I am comfortable to go further up, try to take the leg really up and make it perpendicular. So this last step which I showed should be done only after you are very good with the previous step. So this is full Sarvangasana. After staying in this position for some time, exhale, bend the knees and keep the feet on the wall. Take an inhale here. Then while exhaling, bring the hips on mat. Now inhaling, straighten the leg. Relax in this position some time. And once you are feeling good, you can exhale and bring the legs down. Turn to your right side. Stay here for some time. And then pressing the left hand on the ground, slowly sit up. With an inhalation. And relax. 
so just to recap what you must do is start with the wall stay on the wall keep the back touching the wall inhale and take the legs on the wall while lying down stay there for some time after some time bend the legs press the feet on the wall and with an inhalation lift the hips up support your back properly with both the hands keeping the elbow close to each other don't keep your elbows wide if you keep your elbows wide you will not get proper support initially keeping the support of the hand and taking the weight on the hands and the elbows try to take one leg off the wall with an inhalation take an exhale there and try to take the second leg also so when you learn initially keep the weight on the hand side and not towards the shoulder side and once you are able to stay there conveniently for a little time gradually shift the weight from the hands towards the shoulders not on the neck it's called a shoulder stand sarvangasana is a shoulder stand not a neck stand so taking slowly the weight to the shoulders try to improve the straightness of your sarvangasana if you follow this process one you will not get an injury people having mild back problems also can try to practice in this method because there is no jerky movement while doing sarvangasana like this so it's quite safe to practice this inversion as explained the complete explanation of sarvangasana has been given in another video the link to that video is provided in the description below so all beginners senior citizen those who find it very difficult to come into inversions like sarvangasana this step by step method is very very helpful keep practicing namaste